Bread and butter wines pair with the life moments you love, offering a rich and jammy Cabernet Sauvignon, a silky smooth Pinot Noir, and a buttery Chardonnay. Bread and butter wines are delicious. Find bread and butter wines in your favorite store. Moving 92.5. Second date update. Normally, if somebody describes a first date as being strange and unexpected, that's the introduction scene to a seven-part crime docu-series on Netflix. Whoa. At okay, least that's that... what I picture in my head. It went from Whoa. zero to like 8,000. Well, you know, you know how they start. <laughs> yeah. If she met a strange mm. man. Next thing, something unexpected happened. <laughs> it's very vague, but Look, I, I know, that's with just the how, voice. You yeah. know, that's how things go in my head. Yeah, but totally. today, one of our listeners said her date was strange and unexpected in a good way. Okay, okay. that's hey, awesome. Yeah, that's rare. And now she's hoping to have another. Her name is Taylor. Taylor, you like it strange? <laughs> it was really weird. It was a first, all right. I'll tell you that. Oh, mm. I'm excited to hear about this. <laughs> she sounded happy about it. I'm scared. So yeah. what, what's the name of the guy that you went out with? What's his name? Murphy. I met him online. Murphy. Okay. Murphy. I okay. mean, strange things always happen from online. And- yeah. So what did you and Murphy do? <laughs> so when we started out, we were just going to have, like, coffee and walk around the park a little bit. Right. Oh, okay. That's a good get-to-know-you date. Yeah, we just wanted to keep it casual and get to know each other, you know. Okay. Until something unexpected yeah. happened. Stop! <laughs> Scary! So, I mean, really, sorry. honestly, like, what, what could happen that would make it so strange? Yeah. Just wasn't it, like, 2 in the morning or anything that you were doing this, yeah. right? It was daylight. Yeah, it was like we met at 2. Okay. And he seemed, like, really fun and comfortable to hang out with. You know, I felt like I could, like, really kind of be myself around him. Oh, that's uh, the best feeling. It is. It yeah. honestly is what right you should away. strive for in yeah. every relationship. Yeah. So when did things start to turn? It wasn't even awkward at all. So then we're sitting on the bench, and like he was like on the phone, and his eyes got really wide, and I couldn't really hear what was going on. But all I could hear was he goes, don't worry, I'll handle it. Okay. Don't worry, oh, I'll so handle he was. I mean, he took the phone call then right in front of you? Yeah, but he said, hold on, I got to take this. This is important. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. So, I mean, that could be anything, though. Yeah, you but know? You, like, good, you don't though. answer a call on a date unless it's big. Yeah. But and even it, handling stuff, what's a good thing that you can handle? Yeah. It, so- it sounds like you're about to help someone hide a body. Yeah, exactly. Really? I was like, you hey, know. Hey, go buy your grandma flowers. <laughs> like, I'll handle I'll it. Maybe he's got a library <laughs> fine, and he means I'll handle it. Don't worry. Still, doesn't fit, bro. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who gets library it could fines be anymore, innocent. Brooke? <laughs> it could be innocent. Okay. Well, what happened? So it turned out that it was his brother-in-law, and so his sister was going into early labor. She was about to have a baby, like, any second. Oh, my gosh. And he'll handle the birth? <laughs> what is he talking about? I'll handle the baby. Yeah. <laughs> well, the brother-in-law was freaking out because he hadn't painted the baby's room yet. Oh, that's so oh. cute. Oh. So what did he do? Like, he meant that he's going to go paint the baby's room? So I thought he was just going to leave, but he actually said to me, hey, do you want to come paint the baby's room with me? And I'm like, right now? Like, <laughs> I think that's oh. cute. It's cute. It was cute. I hope they let air out. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. You would be, if a guy asked you to go paint a room for your day, okay, you'd well, be up for I it? I wouldn't paint, but I'd like sit in the room while he did. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> that's hard labor. I'm thinking babies. Yeah, moving a brush up and down. Yeah, I would totally do it. I think it's darling. So, Boring. Taylor, is that what you did? Did you actually do that? I actually did it. Wow. And we ended up having some drinks and, like, we got some pizza while we were doing it. And we were having, like, so much fun. Wait a minute. Okay. You painted his sister's baby room for free and this guy is not calling you back? Hey, he's <laughs> paid her in pizza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, that's kind of messed up. Mm-hmm. It kind of is. But it turned out to be so much fun. Like, I was over there for three hours with him just hanging out. Like, okay, it was that, so much Three hours fun. is a like, long time. For sure. Yeah. Is there anything in that span that maybe didn't go so well you know i have been going over and over to my mind and i can't think of anything i did or said wrong or i didn't have spinach in my teeth like instead of doing your paint strokes up and down did you do them side to side <laughs> like a noob Ooh, not getting a call back now oh man you need to do, you need to do the all over the chaos method oh, oh that's wow. bad. you're thinking with the roller yeah oh, yeah i don't even know if she had one yeah. of those <laughs> No, but on, like maybe you were just like friend zone. Did it feel too like mm. hang out and less date? No, because at the end we did kiss. 
Oh. Oh. Maybe he really yeah. likes his friends. As long as you didn't make baby jokes, you're probably good. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of baby jokes <laughs> I did don't you know. make? <laughs> <laughs> did you? <laughs> I don't know. I just wouldn't want someone to talk about babies to me. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, we definitely have a mystery on our hands right now, Taylor. Mm. We're going to play a song. We're going to come unsolved back. An unsolved mystery. An unsolved mystery yeah, for sure. Right. When we come back after the break, <laughs> we're going to find out. Was it the paint? (laughs) What happened with the mysterious baby that never materialized after the date? That sounds really bad, doesn't it? Does. It? <laughs> it does. It sounds like we should call a homicide team or something. <laughs> I gotta write these out more before yeah. I say stuff. <laughs> Hold on, Taylor. We'll here. A moonlit walk on a secluded beach. Okay. Picking strawberries together at sunset. Aww. Putting a second coat of polyurethane paint sealer <laughs> on a nursery room wall. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I'm gonna cry. It's not your stereotypical romantic first date. Oh my god, polyurethane, that's pretty intense. It's, it's powerful. Oh, right. I don't even know what that means. It'll give you some feelings, that's yeah, for sure. It will. One of our listeners, Taylor, said she felt sparks after her date Murphy got an emergency call mid coffee date, letting him know that his sister had gone into early labor Aww. and that he needed to go and paint their baby's room immediately before they got back from the hospital. And Taylor was invited to go along for the ride. Yeah. And she did. I know. And it's so cute, Taylor, because it really shows what a good brother he is. Yeah. I mean, like, it was adorable. I actually had so much fun with him. I forgot to ask, what color did you guys do? (laughs) We did, like, light blues and, like, some grays and, like, greens. Classic. Okay. Very classy. Okay. Yes. So how long has it been since your date? Because we never asked you that in the first part. It's been, like, two weeks. Two okay. weeks. Oh, wow. At least it hasn't been two years. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a toddler I, now. I totally get, though, that, like, maybe there's a new baby and he's busy with his family and stuff. But, oh, like, yeah. I mean, that would take, like, a week, not, like, two weeks. Uh, yeah. may- <laughs> maybe she's still in labor and the baby hasn't come yet. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh my God that poor woman. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. But, I, don't I know, mean, that's but... sweet, but I don't think an uncle has a lot to do in the first two weeks of a baby being born. They don't do a whole lot. Hey, um, we got to write a lot of jokes to get ready for that baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> well, let's find out. We're going to call Murphy for you, and we're going to try and get you your second date update. You ready, Taylor? Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Take a deep breath. Here we go. Hello? Hi. Can I speak to Murphy, please? This is he. Hi, Murphy. My name's Jeffrey from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. You have a second to talk with us? Um... No. No. <laughs> well, hold on. Is it free stuff? <laughs> yeah. It you, could be. It could yeah. be. Maybe, yeah. This call is not collect either. That's totally free. The reason why we're ringing you is because we're doing a segment called a second date update. Have you ever heard of that before? Uh, Yeah, actually. Okay. Okay. So oh. then you know how that works. Um, Yeah, I'm trying to think of <laughs> which end of this I'm on. <laughs> Do I get to follow up or still be checking in on me? Oh, did you send us an email? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> this is confusing. I don't think you remember how this works at all. No. Actually, after you just said that. Maybe it's better if we explain. Hmm. You recently went on a date with somebody, and afterwards, you're not calling them back, and they're curious why. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. okay. Remembering. All right, Murphy. And the girl that reached out to us about you, her name is Taylor. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Why are you laughing? Um, I don't know, I guess. Uh, how? What? <laughs> you okay, man? You sound really nervous. I, I get it, though. I mean, it'd be really weird to get randomly called by a radio station and asked about, you know, it's a pretty personal thing. You went on a long date with Taylor. Yeah. If I can ask, what was it that Taylor shared? Well, I mean, she pretty much told us the entire thing, that you were supposed to go out and walk through the park and you ended up getting a phone call from your brother-in-law who said your sister went into early labor, and that yeah. led to you and Taylor going back to your sister's house and painting her baby's room for her. Yep. Uh, we did do that. Is that all she said that we did? I mean, she said you ate pizza, drank a little bit, and mm-hmm. kissed. You yeah. had a nice kiss. I mean, she described it as a really nice time with you. Yeah. It was really fun. Um, okay. But there might be a little bit more. I'm not really sure it's my place to say this year. Wait, there's more to the date, you're saying? Yeah, no, it was super fun, and then it got awkward, you know? 
No. We what? don't, don't know. know. Yeah, no. I just felt like it was pretty awkward for how fast things went. Wait, you're what? the one that invited her back to your sister's house yeah. to paint the baby room. <laughs> That's on you. Yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean move fast? Like, okay, first of all, that was amazing. I thought that was cool. I had to do that for my family. Right. But yeah. I'm not sure what I can say on your show regarding this, but we, we like, we did it. You had- did what? <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think that that's a natural thing to happen between two consenting adults. Yeah. Well, what'd you do? We did it, man. I'm not. I don't know. I'm trying to be cool here. Okay, why? Why are you acting so weird about it? Then, if you hooked up, then that's that should be okay. It's fine. He was in the baby's room. <laughs> well, that's on you. Yeah. I, it's not fair that you've left Taylor hanging this whole time based on something that's going on inside your head. I mean, just, like, I told my brother-in-law. I got pissed. Why would you tell your oh, brother-in-law? Yeah, that's yeah, what are you doing? You just keep that to yourself. You know, it away. You know who you need to be talking oh to about God. this is Taylor. And thank God you've already kind of told her because I need to let you know that she's been on the other line listening and she wants to talk to you, dude. Shut up. She's not on the phone. Yes, she mm-hmm. is. Taylor, are you there? <laughs> yeah. I can't believe that you told people that on the air. Oh, <laughs> it's no big deal. It's, fine. Yeah. it's not like the baby was present in the room when you yeah. guys did it. The room was empty. Yeah, but I mean, they like christened a room that child will live in forever. Oh, and, they, I mean, dude, the walls, they painted the it. They deserve well. it. I'm gonna tell you, oh as God. a parent, there's much worse things that'll probably oh, happen to my kids. Oh, I don't, I'm just don't saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> so like, t- it's not that big of a deal. Taylor, how are you feeling right now, hearing all of this? I mean, I get that you feel guilty but I thought we had a really good connection and you know it was like up to you too to do it in that room you know that was really fun it was a good connection (laughs) but I didn't know it was going to be as awkward as it was after but I feel like it was just so awkward like because it was in the baby's room it's like yeah. being in your grandma's well, right. room. Right, and like... it sounds like you made it awkward. Like, why would you tell your brother-in-law? <laughs> <laughs> I felt guilty about doing it in his room. It's not my house. It's not my place. It's... So you clean conscience? Yeah. I mean... <laughs> I mean, it's a good sign, Taylor, that he's very honest. Too honest, well... honestly. <laughs> but, like, if but... he ever met me, like, would he know that that was me? Oh. oh, would the brother-in-law oh. know? Is yeah, that what you yeah. say? It was her, right? Well, maybe the paint marks on your clothes might be a hint. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds like there's still a connection between you guys. It's yeah, just yeah. Murphy. Right. You have to get over it. If the brother doesn't know that it's not like it's going to be awkward if they ever meet. Well, I don't want to lie to him that it's like not eventually her. What do you guys think? I don't think you have to lie to him, Murphy. I just think you just leave it out of conversation. I highly doubt. Do you have to tell everybody every place that you do it every yeah. time? Hey, name's Murphy. I okay. slept with someone in the car. Okay. Nice to meet you. I don't want to sound pathetic, but like, what if it's like the birth of a new baby and then like also the birth of a new connection with someone, you know? Oh. I like like that. that. You're making it deeper. (laughs) Are you saying, Taylor, that you got pregnant in there and there's an opportunity? Stop Stop it. I don't. What are you saying? Uh, What are you saying? (laughs) (laughs) He really wants you to answer that. (laughs) Murph just got nervous. Well, I don't know. It's only been two weeks, though. I don't know. Oh, Oh, Murphy, you may have to see her again. Okay. (laughs) Just to be a good guy, Murphy, I need to ask you. (laughs) <laughs> Would you like to go out with Taylor one more time? We're going to pay for it. It'll be a funny story someday. I guess I'll go out with her again. Maybe we can do it at my place. Oh, okay. yeah. You don't need to plan yeah. it. <laughs> That's you really don't. Really romantic. <laughs> Send out a memo to let her go. <laughs> Excuse me, do I get a say in this? I mean, I'd like to say where we get to do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Brooke and Jeff.